more than 40 tons of interplanetary rocks and dust fall through our atmosphere every day. Most are lost to oceans or dense terrain. But of the precious few meteorites that have been found, nearly one in five landed here. Best place to find meteorite is in the desert. Because sand, it's a color that helps us to see black stone from far away. Oh, my bead meteorite. My big one, it was 22 kilo. And we sell it like uh, 12,000. In the oasis town of Erfoud, Morocco, a large percentage of the economy is made up in meteorites. Known as the Gate of the Sahara, people come from all over the world to trade in this precious commodity. Michael Farmer is a meteorite dealer, one of only 20 people in the world with access to the nearly impenetrable meteorite market. <laughs> These guys you trade with? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I've known them a lot of years. Really? Nice. Yeah. Hi, Mike. Aww. Hey. This mm. is your full-time job? I worked at Target while I was in the University of Arizona, and uh, I quit that job, traveled to Morocco, started buying meteorites, and have never looked back. Do you travel the world in search of these things? Yeah, I've been to over 80 countries. I, I never stop. Anytime a new meteorite falls, uh, I tend to jump on a plane and rush yeah. there. Michael has a network of meteorite brokers all around the world. Here in Morocco, his local agent is Mohammed. In anticipation of Michael's arrival, he set up secret meetings with a small group of top sellers. Thank you. The one we're about to meet claims that he has two rare rocks out of only 200 of its kind that were ever found. Black beauty. What is black beauty? The rarest Mars rock on Earth. Scientifically, it's extraordinary. It has a lot of water in it, Martian water. Usually sells for 10,000 US per gram. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, very, very, very rare rock. Gold is $50 a gram. Just those two pieces, they want $20,000. $20,000 for what's in my hand yes. right now. The existence of this global underground meteorite industry is actually a huge problem, according to another group of people desperate to get their hands on these rare rocks. Paul Chodas is the head of near-Earth objects for NASA and believes meteorites are too important to be collected by anyone other than scientists. Well, a meteorite is a stone that is sitting on the ground uh, a stone from space, a rock from space. It's exciting because it formed in space four billion years ago. So we can learn more about the formation of the solar system and the composition of that early material that was th were the building blocks of the planets. So to ascertain kind of the age and when, when the fall happened and, and where there are other related meteorites, documentation is certainly needed when meteorites are recovered. And I, I can't speak to what the meteorite hunters are doing. Scientists like Paul have good reason to be suspicious. In an underground marketplace, even well-known meteorite hunters sometimes struggle to get the information they need. Should we take off our shoes here? Okay. We sit here? Here? Oh, here. Anywhere you want. Grab a pillow. Oh, relax. thank you. Wow. What's this? It's contracts. Yeah, that's a nice piece. Wow. Look at that. A very nice oriented rock. Chondrites are pieces of asteroid and are thought to be one of the earliest building blocks of our solar system. Nearly 90% of meteorites found so far are chondrites, and researchers consider the specific details of each rock's fall to the Earth vital to the scientific record. But this dealer is being cryptic about where he found this one. ما كانش عندك البلاصه فين ما عرفت البلاصه فين طاحت عارف طاحت ها 
I saw pieces of this a few months ago. It looks like a fall from Algeria. It's illegal to export meteorites from Algeria. They're seen as priceless artifacts and property of the state. So you're concerned about these coming from a place where it's not legal to sell them? Yeah. If I had information on, on that exactly, I would buy it. But uh, no information, no buy. 